I have no shame in saying that this is by far my favorite resort that I have ever been to, bar none. Welcome to Nizuk Resort and Spa. This is a resort that has recently gained its five-star luxury status. And of course, I'm going to show all of you around all of its amenities, and of course, you can tell me what you think. Now, right now, we are going to come back here later. This is a master suite. I am staying in two different suites while I'm staying at this resort, and we're gonna have a good time. By the way, let me make this very clear right out of the gate. Nizlook Resort and Spa is not an all-inclusive. Typically with an all-inclusive, you pay one lump sum and you are, if I'm being honest, going to get usually low to, if you're lucky, mid-grade products. However, here you do have to pay for each restaurant, each drink, but the quality is, well, going to be superb. Let me show you. So once you get through the security gate, you're probably going to end up here if you're checking in over at the lobby. And as you can see, right out of the gate, it already gives off a very secluded, secretive type of feel. Here they do offer 24 hour valet service as well as cart service to either your room or any part of the resort. After we enter the lobby from the valet service, they do have the main check-in area right over there. And then they also have concierge service right over here. And of course, you will be dazzled by this Amazing view that I heard is a lot better during the evening time. Now, I don't care what anybody says. If you don't call this property luxurious, then I'm really curious to know what luxury is. Even the bathrooms here look amazing and they smell great. I didn't want to leave the bathroom of all places, but wow. Talk about breathtaking views and beautiful design. We are going to take a look around, but first of all, this restaurant here, Ni, I had hands down the best grouper I've ever had in my entire life. Now given for the price of about 80 bucks, I would hope it was good, but I was absolutely blown away. Let's take a walk down by the beach. As you can see, obviously, breathtaking views, plenty of lounge chairs. They're all black and elite looking, and that's kind of the theme for this entire resort here. Wood finishes in black, which is my favorite color. You're probably wondering about those cabanas here. Now, given when it comes to, let's say, an all-inclusive, usually there's an upcharge for the cabanas. When you are dealing with a resort that isn't an all-inclusive, they are going to make up for that all-inclusive idea in other ways. Like, for example, this cabana is absolutely free as long as it's available to you. You can use it. This here is inside of that big black building I just showed you a second ago. This is the Akan Bar. Here they have, I want to say medium to top shelf drinks. They do have your Grey Goose, but it's not like an all-inclusive where you're going to see a bunch of no-name liquors running around. Other side of the beach here, it does give off a very private feel. There are more cabanas if you want to hang and lounge around at. There is, of course, a lifeguard tower in case somebody decides to go for a swim and realizes that they can't swim or gets caught in a current. They could save your life, but they also have things like paddle boards and other activities for you to indulge in while you're here on the beach. So, of course, I do have to show all of you my suite because I gotta say, this is very nice. Let's start from the outside and kind of work our way in. So we are on the second floor, kind of tucked away in the corner in suite 719. Now this is a residence junior suite with a terrace. The room is 1,270 square feet, and as you can see, it has the high ceilings. It's also soundproof. This room comes with a very comfortable king-size bed. I felt like I was sleeping on a cloud. I don't know if you are a firm or soft person, but this bed is a little bit on the softer side. You have your large TV, and just under that, you have your mini bar that is also complete with some nice snacks. You have two sitting chairs and a table that comes complete with free tequila. We are in Mexico. You have a couch here, two lamps, plenty of outlets, including over by the bed. You have the seating area here. There are USB ports by the bed, along with controls for all of the lighting and the fan. This room also came with a Bluetooth speaker, this working desk area, as well as an espresso coffee maker. Let me show you this large, luxurious bathroom. Then, of course, when I'm done with this quick tour, I will give you the pricing for this suite. As you can see off to the side here, you have a TV. You have two separate sinks. You have a seating area. You have two very large functional closets, one on this side, one on the opposite side in case you are a couple that's staying in this accommodation you've got the porcelain throne you have a nice bathtub and of course you have the nice standalone shower let's check out the terrace now both of these double doors here do slide all the way open to give you a nice beautiful view let's say if you want to let the breeze in and you want to just lay in bed and hang out in this nice tropical environment well 
here you go. You have two chairs here on this terrace, a small private pool for you to enjoy. And of course you have the rest of the terrace. Now this is what's called a garden view terrace. There are two types, the garden view terrace and the ocean view terrace for the junior suites. Now, yes, I would personally prefer an ocean view suite, but this does provide a lot of privacy. And when it comes to the suites and rooms next to me, well, it doesn't look like they can see much if something were to be going on up here, if you just want some privacy and you want to just hang out and enjoy. Now, as far as the pricing, this room does average anywhere between $600 to $900 per night, give or take. Now, I know for some of you out there, that may be a lot of money. For some, it's the right price. However, I would argue that if you were going to, let's say, go somewhere special as a couple, anniversary, birthday, or what have you, this is definitely the room to come to. It's quiet, it's very beautiful, very elegant and luxurious in my opinion and well I definitely plan on coming back here I'll tell you that now I am actually getting out of this suite because I've just recently been told that I'm getting moved to another one you want to know what's amazing about this luxurious mystical place the staff here won't even let you lift a finger I tried to get ready to transfer to my room they wanted to call staff to come pick up my bags I told them no no it's fine but man talk about above and beyond it is nice to see that there are elevators on this property I know in Mexico, there is a different standard of what constitutes as luxurious, but if there's more than like three or four floors, <laughs> there should always be an elevator in my opinion. Now a big worry that I had as far as the layout of the resort, I was worried that we wouldn't be able to get transportation anywhere because it is a pretty long walk if you're trying to go from one part of the resort to the other. However, the response time for them to bring these carts around are usually three minutes or so max. By the way, shameless but useful plug here before we continue, let's say you want to book a vacation of a lifetime. You want to come to Nizuk here in Cancun, Mexico. You should probably book it with my travel agent sponsor, Lux Rally Travel. Why? Because we can more than likely get you benefits and perks that you can't find anywhere else, especially if you book it alone. I'm talking about things like early check-in, late check-out, room upgrades when available, free breakfast, free spa access, and welcome amenities. Make sure you check us out, link in the description box below. Well, the time has come. I am being transferred to another room. I'm I'm going to suite 656. Oh, so you guys, they're so professional here. So you see they take the bags already and they're gonna go ahead and take it straight to my room. And apparently I'm in the best room in the entire resort. Now this is exciting. I'm legitimately curious what is going to beat out that junior suite that I was just in. As you can see how amazing they are with the service here. This is insane. Here we go. Let's see what we're working with. The master suite. Oh. Wow. Yeah, beautiful is an understatement. <laughs> this is the master suite. I'm going to give all of you a quick tour and show you what we're working with. As you can see, there's a lot of similarities to the junior suite that I showed you earlier that I stayed in the night before. And this one is just a lot more expansive. There's a lot more furniture, a lot more amenities. And it even comes with the butler. The butler will take care of pretty much everything you ask for at your beck and call. You want your stuff unpacked and organized, they can do it. You want to move this bed and get another one, well, they could do it. As you can see, the bathroom has pretty much the same items as the junior suite. It's just kind of reconfigured and moved around a bit. You still have the tub over here, this sitting area right here, the shower, you have the porcelain throne, the toilet in a separate enclosed area right over here. And of course you still have the very large closet. The price of this master suite does float around the $1,500 per night range. But just like the junior suite, I would argue that it's worth it if you're on like, let's say a romantic getaway, a honeymoon, an anniversary, a birthday. This is absolutely beautiful. And this here is the star of the show. There's no doubt about it. Look at this pool. It is, well, considerably larger than the pool in the junior suite. And there is also, to top it all off, this breathtaking view of the ocean. As you can see, the sun is going down little by little. You are going to get the perfect view of a sunset here as well. I gotta say, I am genuinely surprised about this property. I do like the architecture, all the lines and all the black. It definitely is my color. However, it is extremely quiet here on this property do consider that we are also just about five to ten minutes away from the airport as well haven't heard a plane i've seen a few of them but it's quiet as a mouse here now you have got to see la punta down this way this is a steakhouse but it is also an adult only area we will head inside in a second here but it is a little windy however this is a beautiful area like i said it is adult only no children allowed down here this is the second beach they have two beachfront properties over in this area and Man, talk about breathtaking. It's quiet down here. You can sit, relax all day with your significant other or by yourself. 
100% your choice. Now this is Le Punta. This is the steakhouse here at Nisuf Resort and Spa. And I gotta say, I ate here last night. Absolutely delicious steak. It did set me back about 80 bucks with food and appetizers and drinks. Definitely well worth it. Le Punta does serve lunch and dinner, except on Sundays, it does not serve dinner. So over there is the main resort. Over here was La Punta as well as the adults only area. But over here you also have a nice dock area as well if you want to go for a swim. It also does serve private dinners. So right next to the knee restaurant, we do have, well it's a little ways away, the main pool. I'll show you guys here in a second. But here we have the Cafe de la Playa. It serves breakfast and lunch. I did come in here because I do get free breakfast. Absolutely amazing food that they had over here. They had it laid out very well, buffet style. But I heard the brunch is pretty good here too. I'm just not sure if I'll have an opportunity with my short time frame to check it out, but definitely recommend it. On the way to the main pool, they do have the kids club. It does feature a kid pool over here in the back and it has lots of activities where the parents can drop the kids off and enjoy themselves. Now, even though Nizuk here in Cancun, Mexico is technically a family friendly resort, I have not seen a lot of kids or teenagers running around. I've seen a few toddlers, I think maybe one teenager. If I had to compare it to anything, let's say in terms of cruising, I would think of it as like a celebrity. It's a premium product there's no doubt about it hopefully you all agree with me on this however you can bring kids here but it seems like this is more catered to and I've seen as far as the demographic more so adults and couples so as we make our way up of course you have more cabanas over here but we do have the main pool area now one thing I have noticed I haven't really got a chance to lounge around up here this is without a doubt a very popular area there is only one bar here it's a pool bar however there is bar service or service over here taking your orders and bringing the drinks over to you I was a little disappointed to see that there weren't any loungers available at all now there are I believe about 270 rooms here so let's say if you double that well you get your number so you would think a exclusive place like this would have plenty of seating available but there just wasn't, at least from what I have seen. One thing that I have to point out that I think is absolutely amazing about this property, first of all, the pool is right up here. You have the cabanas, you have the lounging area. Something I want to say is, well, rather romantic. No matter where you are, whether it be at the pool, these lounging areas, the beach, the lobby, this resort is positioned in the perfect spot for the most epic sunsets. We're going to make our way to the other side of the property. Now, right over here to the left, you do have the boutique it is open during the daylight hours here. You can get purses, dresses, sunglasses, memorabilia. This is your one-stop shop. You do have the Indochine Asian Cuisine Restaurant. Now, I will be going there tonight, so we're gonna go ahead and save that for a little bit later. Directly behind me, right across the street from Indochine, we have the Havana Lounge. Not only is this a beautiful and elegant cigar lounge in which you can have hand-rolled cigars made directly in front of you, there is a bar here. There's also live music that they have every Thursday through Saturday. It can be some salsa, some bachata, some merengue, some jazz music. It's just an elegant area to come and hang out. However, for today, Everybody's watching the Super Bowl. So this location is a little down the way, but this is the Mediterranean option here at Nizuk Terra Nostra. As you can see, this is very, very beautiful. They also do host a lot of events and weddings out here. Apparently it's very beautiful at night. You see they have a pool over here. They also have this platform, which is where they typically will host the events. There's also a second floor right up here. That way you can get a good view of everything that's going on. Here's the top deck I was telling you guys about. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. You have a bar back over here, plenty of lounging space. So let's say they're having something like a wedding. You have a nice viewing area over here, and there's a platform down there as well as the pool. And this beautiful scenery. Towards the back of the property here, they also have a tennis court for you to play at. Well, it looks like I have one more suite to show all of you. This is the Pavilion Villa. It costs on average about $1,100 per night. We will start from the front with this massive door and work our way in. Now, this pavilion villa, like I said, about $1,100 on average, give or take, throughout the season per night. There is only one bedroom here. However, technically you can bring a family depending on how you organize your sleeping configuration. As you can see, we have a pool here that's pretty large, definitely larger than the junior suite. You have two lounging chairs. You have one bedroom here. It's very large, very, very nice. Show you guys the rest of the room here. Oh, by the way, guys, this here is Cynthia. She is the leisure sales manager. Make sure you say hi in the comments. Hi. <laughs> so this is the beautiful restroom. Wow, very, very nice. The same tub that you see in the rest of the suites area. And then of course you have the same amenities, 
but still very, very beautiful. The difference with the villas here is that they do have this kind of outside shower area. One thing that is important to know about these suites and accommodations, there's the residency suites that I am currently staying in. There are the villas, both of which you can bring families and children into. However, there are the oceanfront suites in which it is adult only. Of course, we have to check out the spa. I heard it was absolutely amazing. The spa at Nizuk by Espa. Espa, by the way, is only used by two suppliers in all of Mexico. Nizuk is one of them. Well, I'm going to show all of you the hydrotherapy experience. They are going to walk through a step-by-step -step process, but the first thing we have to do is take a five to 10 minute sauna rest over here. I know you guys probably can't see me that well, but I did have to take a cold shower. Unfortunately, my mic was off and I yelled pretty loud, but it's okay, it's okay. Now I'm in the salt room and I can barely even breathe or see. So the next order of business, we have to do the cold plunge. This is probably gonna remind me of Antarctica, which I don't wanna do, but I'm gonna do all of it for you. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, know. I love all of you, but I don't like cold water at all. No, thank you. I had flashbacks from Antarctica. Never again. Before we head back to my suite to get ready for dinner, I wanted to show all of you this. Just a sample. This resort is completely different at night. So I definitely don't remember closing these curtains before I left, but then I just remembered, along with 24 hour room service, we do also have two cleanings, a daily cleaning during the daytime hours and turn down service. So they come in here during the evening hours and make everything all shiny and new again. Oh, and apparently they drop off gifts as well. We have new house shoes that are sitting here and I wonder what all of this is. Okay, so we have some house shoes, some chocolates, a letter, and it looks like they reconfigured the bed setup. A very nice, luxurious touch. Now we are going to go over here to the right. However, I want you to get a good look at this area. I don't know what it is. It just looks so mystical with all the fire and the lights and the water. Talk about epic. By the way, there is a very nice lady at the front desk. She remembered me from over a year ago when I came here, well, not this specific resort. I went swimming with whale sharks, and back then she was working for the whale shark tour operator, and now she's working here. Talk about a small world. And here we are, Indochine. Let's eat. I am stuffed. I was told that that is the most popular restaurant here at the resort, and I understand why. It was amazing. The ambiance was set up perfectly. Very dim. Sorry if I couldn't capture all of it in the video. I ended up getting a lobster roll. Came out to about 45 bucks for that. I also got a chicken and pork ramen. That was only 25 bucks. Both were absolutely delicious, and well, that was a very, very good meal. Sorry if I sound a little stopped up, by the way. The food I ate had a lot of spices and peppers, and now my nose is a little stuffy. Here are my final thoughts and analysis, if you will, of the Nizuk Resort and Spa in Cancun, Mexico. First of all, in the best of ways, I still don't know what to make of this place. What I mean by that is that it feels like this place doesn't exist. I mean, we are five to 10 minutes away from the airport, and I think I might have, sort of, kind of, maybe heard an airplane or two flying by. It was very quiet. And if you've ever been to a destination near an airport, you know all day long, all night long, you're hearing loud airplanes flying on by. You don't really hear it much here. When it comes to the people, everybody kind of keeps to themselves. Whoever they came here with, they may mingle a little bit, but not really. It kind of feels like everybody here is like a secret spy, or they have some business going on. Maybe they've done a bad thing or two in their past and they do more good for the world now. The entire property feels like it's in some elite secluded far off land that you have never heard of. The staff do this interesting touch of the heart gesture whenever they see you. It's very robotic but still kind of cool and they are also very genuine when they speak to you. The ambiance is definitely my thing for sure. I told you I like all the black. It's my favorite color. It's a Scorpio thing. You wouldn't understand unless you're a Scorpio. However, the music that is played around the property is very mysterious and mystical and dark in the best of ways. Okay, now getting down to the nitty gritty, when it comes to, let's say, the price, could I say that it was worth it? 
absolutely. The feel and the experience as a whole was absolutely amazing. I would say that, like I said earlier, if you're going on a honeymoon, if you're a couple, if you want to do the quiet family thing, or maybe you want to host a wedding here or something of that nature, this is definitely the place to do it. When it comes to the food, yeah, you could argue that some of it was a little pricey, but the food was on average anywhere between $75 to $80 a person. But this is what happens when it comes to luxury. And yes, I do see this place as very luxurious. I was told prior to even coming here that this place is somewhat of a gateway drug to a luxurious lifestyle. Now, if it's anything like this, or let's say a step above, I'm really interested to see what that's going to be like. There is no crazy entertainment or parties here whatsoever. It's just you, Nizuk, these very tall ceilings, these beautiful views, and well, your experience when you come here. But anyway, guys, this is what I have for my time here at the Nizuk Resort and Spa. I had a great time. I will definitely be back because I believe I did miss one important restaurant, the Romana, I believe the name is, the Mexican spot. I'll have to hit it next time. But of course, guys, let me know your thoughts on this resort in the comment section below. I know a lot of you have been saying the last two that I've been to aren't luxury. Yes, there is some merit to that, but let me know what you think about Nizuk. If you've been here, let me know. If you haven't, let me know if you would come here in the comment section below. Also, if you do want to check out this resort, you can book with us, Lux Rally Travel Agency. We'll make sure you get perks and benefits that you probably can't get anywhere else, like I said earlier. Link in the description box below. I appreciate all you guys. I love all of you. Thank you for watching and well, I'll see you at the next resort. Take it easy.